today I'm going to show you guys how to paint um, a page in this journal. You're probably sick of seeing this journal because it's on like all my videos. Um, I'm trying to keep this uh, world theme going on here and I'll use a lot of butterflies and different sorts of things. So we'll put this in the middle. My inspiration for this uh, page came from a little I don't know a little quote or something I wrote today it says when you looked up at me with your eyes so sincere and asked how you could change the world I reached for your hand pulled it to my heart and replied you already did so I'm going to um, paint a journal page that I can use that little quote on that I just wrote this morning and we'll see how this goes um, I have a few paints left over from an another project I was working on and I'm gonna use some of those and we'll add a few more and they're just basically acrylic paints um, from deco art so let's get started here I'm just going to you know put some paints on the background and see what happens so we'll just kind of add some paint in here I'm not really sure what I'm going to do but by adding paint, it kind of helps me make a decision, so. And we can always change our mind as we go along. And I might just blob some of this right, right on here. <coughs> and I'll put some on my on my palette too so okay let's get some of that smudged around just one second I'm trying to find my plastic protectors that I usually put down between my pages while I'm painting and of course I can't find them. Okay. I just like to do this so I don't ruin my other pages that I'm working on. And for this side, I'm just going to open this up and slide this whole page inside like that and I already got paint on there and that's exactly why I use these I don't want to ruin what I already painted okay Let's add some more paint. And get some of this white. I'm not sure if this was gesso or actually white paint. We'll just add it on anyway. And maybe some green. Like I said, I don't really have any real plan what this is going to turn out like. Just adding some colors right now and hoping that I come up with something. I'm just scrubbing this paint all in to get a good base.
nice. So it kind of blends right in there. And what I like to do is um, cut this before put, placing it in the fold because sometimes I find that it, it sticks there if I don't. So let's just kind of cut this up the center. Oops, that's not quite the center. Some Liquitex uh, matte gel medium. Just put a little bit of that over here. And get another kind of ratty brush. first half down right pretty much right into the seam of the book as close as you can get it anyway and then I just have a um, A little card from you can get them from McDonald's or Walmart or wherever you want like a little credit card Just to kind of get all the air bubbles out and then do that on the other side here Get as many of the air bubbles out as you can. And then I like to take my, oh, just a damp paper towel and kind of wipe all the excess color off of my page here, my clip art. Now, let's lighten the background up just a little bit. I have a little bit of gesso and water on my brush.
<clears throat> Sorry about that. And let's start applying our butterflies. I took the liberty of cutting these out before I started. Like I said, I wasn't really sure exactly what I was going to do, but I was pretty sure I wanted to use some butterflies in this piece of art. So, um, let's find a layout here for them. Something like that. Okay, so that looks good so far. I want to um, get those adhered on with some gel medium again. I'll just squirt a little bit here on my palette. I'll just put this little guy here. And I'll give him a little curve to make, make him look like he's flying. I'll slide him up so he's on the page. And then what we'll do after we get all these butterflies on and everything where we want it, we'll go back and add a little bit more color to them, make their colors a little bit more vibrant. Slide him up so he's completely on the page too. He almost stuck to my paint. I love butterflies in my art. You'll see a lot of that. They're just so colorful and beautiful. Trying to find some good placement. Of course, it changed a little bit from the way I had it laid out at first. Again, I want to cut him so he doesn't get stuck in the pages. I don't know why it does that, but for some reason it does. So, just do that. Make sure we get it lined back up again. wiped off.
hope you can still see that my hand's not in the way. make sure that they're totally attached to the page here. That one looked like it wanted to slide away, but I got him. Okay, so I'm just going to blow that dry real quick. <laughs> 